Hey guys, what's going on? Jet Black here from The Secret Hideout. About a month ago, I met up with the good people at Noidum, the makers of the Perception Neuron motion capture suit. They came down to Los Angeles to do a few motion capture sessions, and I was fortunate enough to catch up with them. When I met up with them, I was told about the V3, which was about to drop two weeks after we met. So it just dropped very recently as of uh, last week, if I'm not mistaken told me all the differences between the V3 and the V1, of which I am a proud owner of. The difference between the two being that the V3 was wireless, which is amazing. Who doesn't love wireless? Uh, it's also a different strap system, which makes it easier. So easy and wireless. Two for two. It's a win. A difference between the two is that the V3 doesn't come with the hands as the V1 has. The V1 had the ability to have um, each finger manipulated and being able to animate and capture the motion capture data, um, but the V3 does not. The gloves are separate, which are okay. I mean, it is what it is. It's It was $1,500 when I got mine a few years back. Altogether, this would be $3,000, but it's twice as much, but it's also twice the suit. The difference in the hands in this one, though, is before I could... I was able to do this, which was, you know, really cool. I had, that was the selling point for me, was being able to have uh, digital manipulation, being able to animate the fingers. In this one, though, uh, you can still move the thumb, the forefinger, and the middle finger. The difference is the ring finger and the pinky have a built-in IK, so when the middle finger curls in, the other two follow, okay? So that's not a big deal, which is fine, because... You can still do all the normal motion capture things like, I don't know, use a sword, use an axe, use a gun, cop, gangster, cop, gangster, cop, gangster, pew, 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 pew. What I want to do is an unboxing, and let's do that now and see what's in the boxes. What's in the box? Let me put my eyes in. Um, safety first, always cut away from you. We have... This is a charging dock and six sensors, and there is one pair of gloves. So we've got one pair of gloves and a dock with some sensors. Let's do the next one. Sweet. Huh? All right, what do we have here? Flip. Be smarter than the packaging, Jet. A pouch, and in this pouch, is another case, which is very handsome, by the way. Take a look at that. Very cool. Let's see what we have. In this pouch, we have, ooh, wow, this is very cool. Instead of the old school strappy straps we have more of a neoprene type of strap setup with a small section right in here that it looks like the sensors now snap in place as opposed to having to try to dig them out with a makeshift uh, tool or trying to rip your fingernails off this is very cool how do we know what this is ah we know because there is a tag right here that reads pelvis. So I would assume the center is in the back, much like it is on the V1. I could be wrong. I just wanted to open the box and show you what was in the boxes. So here's a chest harness. This is amazing. This is made really well. Uh, it's got nice webbing belts. It's got the very cool plastic buckles. See how this sounds? That's very satisfying. One more time. All right. Very cool. And it's got three little ports here that the sensors hook up to. Okay, speaking of sensors, ooh, there's something in here. A dongle. This must be to set everything up and connect it to your computer with this dongle. That's right. I said dongle. Let's see what's in the other one. Ooh, ooh, look at this. 
more sensors. I love it. So let's do one just for, oh, I'm wrong. That little dongle. Come back here, dongle. There's a little cutout here in the memory foam where it goes. I lost it already. Typical jet. Ha! Dongle. Dongle. That goes here. Everything has its home. It's well made and well thought out. I love this. So let me put this aside just for a moment. With this, what we have here is, I was told, yes, saw the videos. These break apart very easily and they snap together even easier. That's very satisfying. There's something about that. Look at that. It's like a giant Twix. So satisfying. I like that. Let's take something out. Let's say the pelvis belt here. Let's take this. You can see there's a little slot here. And what I'm assuming is, wow, this is designed so well. It just slides in and out perfectly. Well done, guys. He's got the little silver tabs at the bottom that, you know, that's going to touch the connectors in here. Well done. Okay, so this slides. Let's see. Oh, wow. And it's nice and secure. So once again, I'm going to go here. This goes there. You can almost feel it. It's, you, you can't go wrong. There's rails and guides, and it just slides in. I mean, well done, guys. All right, so this is part one. This is just me taking everything out. Part two is going to be me putting everything on and trying it out and seeing what kind of data I get. Data, 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 data. Hmm. All right, let's open up the gloves. Okay, everything is very slick. These are the gloves and they look very stretchy. These gloves are made well. There you can tell they're, they're a stretchy neoprene. They also have the slide. Well, every bit of it has this kind of slide locking mechanism where everything just slides in easy peasy. Another really cool feature about this that I see here, I really love this, is the fact that the fingers themselves have these pull tabs. So it's easier to take these gloves off and on. Wow, they really thought of everything. Snug as a bug and a rug. Ah, I feel like an X-Men. Oh my God, this is very cool. Peace. Oh, speaking of peace, peace. Getting back to the built-in IK. So they have, from what I'm told, they have a preset so that you can just click a button and you'll get the peace sign symbol, which is very important if you're a vlogger or into anime or you like dressing like Sailor Moon. Peace. All right, so this is very cool. Let's see what's in the other box. These must be the fingerlings. Oh, yes. So in this box here, it has more sensors in it. So these go into here. There's these nifty little pouches that are at the end of each finger. You'll see here, you might be able to tell, but there's a little pouch at the end of each one that the sensors slip into. Let's see if the camera can pick it up here. So this goes here and this pushes right in. And there you go. Snug as a bug in a rug. There's not one for the ring finger, as we've already mentioned prior, that there is no sensors that go there because of the IK. Now this one goes into the thumb and it just fits right in. Man, they really thought of everything. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay. Um, that's pretty much everything here. I'm going to show you all the rest of it in part two of the unboxing. Or, you know what? Let's see. Maybe I can just do it all now. Put them in the correct way, Jet. Put them in the correct way. 
Everything is slotted, very simple for you to put them in. So easy, even Jet can do it. So what do we got? Thems is the pelvis. This is the head, chest. Put the knife away. Be safe. Better be safe than sorry, kids. Oh boy. Upper armband. And I guess it really doesn't matter which one the left one or the right one is, considering they both just say upper armbands. Lower arms. Peer, peer, peer. Peer, peer, peer. Ooh, feet says. Ah. Lower arm. Hand. Oh, I suppose if you didn't have gloves. Hands, if you don't have gloves, but we have gloves. So these go back in the box. Lower leg, foot. Almost there, and it goes there, upper shoulder. So we are pretty much done here. I don't know if you can see it from there. I'm gonna take the camera off in just a second to give you a better idea of how everything goes. Cables, cables, cables. Everything seems to be here. I was gonna say there is no battery pack, but that's because there is no battery pack. What happens is, is you charge everything that's so cool. You charge everything here, they get charged. All these little wireless, this is so exciting. Ah! Um, all of these get charged. These go in their little slots, in their little homes on the, on the suit, and you're good to go. You're wireless. I wonder how long these batteries last. Okay, so here we go. This is the entire suit that's in the box that you saw in the unboxing. This is it. Everything fits on this little table. From all the straps to the sensors. We've got the sensors here. We've got some cables. Again, this is all the straps. And how do you know what strap goes where? Well, each little strap has a graphic on it and it indicates as to where it's supposed to be. It can't get any easier. And for those of you that had the V1, oh my God, this thing is a dream to put on compared to the V1. Um, I'm gonna actually time myself to see how long it takes to put this thing on. I think the best time that I ever did with the V1 was about 15 minutes. So that's a challenge. I'm gonna give that a try. Anyway, all right, that's a decent look at it. Moving on. So part two is going to be me putting on all these straps, which I'm really, excited to try on because it looks so much easier than the version ones and version two. Uh, again, great job you guys in the design. You guys thought of everything. Uh, I'm gonna put these straps on. I'm gonna put the charged sensors in them. Uh, and what we'll try to do is we'll try to get some data into the new Perception Neuron Studio software because I hear nothing but good things about it. It's supposedly got some really great updates. I don't know if they rewrote the whole thing, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to try to do that. I'm also going to try to get it into the Unreal Engine 4.26.2, maybe 4.27, maybe even Unreal 5. I don't know. We'll see. At the end of the day, what do I know? This is Jet Black from The Secret Hideout saying peace. Thanks.